What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, it's been some rumblings going around right now. There's been some rumors that CM Punk will be making his return to AEW Dynamite, man. It's It's got a lot of people buzzing, got a lot of people talking about it. Uh, I definitely wanted to make a video talking about this once uh, some of you guys hit me up on Instagram, letting me know, hey, CM Punk may be making his return back to AEW. So we're going to see what some of these reports are talking about, man. Appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel. Let's check this out right here. So it says, and this is from uh, uh, SB Nation. Uh, it says, according to a uh, new report from FIFO Select, there are tentative plans in place for CM Punk to return to AEW television in time for the June 21st episode of Dynamite at the uh, Wintrust Arena in his hometown of Chicago, Illinois. Makes sense if he does return there. Um, there <clears throat> there's even a chance his return to the promotion will be announced ahead of time, which I can see they definitely trying to do for rating purposes and getting people hyped up about it. The report goes, on to say that Punk is uh, pushing for a meeting with the Young Bucks and Kenny Omega and he wants to work with them after he returns to AEW. There is also uh, there's there's also a planned meeting between Punk and Chris Jericho who Punk recently buried on Instagram. Like with most things related to this story, the report comes with the caveat that nothing is locked in place yet as it's a situation with a lot of moving parts. A backstage fight between Punk and the Elite last uh, September at All Out led to Punk being removed from AEW television, but his recovery from torn uh, triceps created a long window of time for the situation to be straightened out between the scenes. It appears that AEW President Tony Khan and Punk are planning his return to TV by late June, so that leaves about two months to resolve any lingering conflicts or tension behind the scenes. It's worth noting that earlier today, AEW official announced that uh, Winters Arena in Chicago as the location for the June 21st Dynamite, which is also the go-home show for uh, the Forbidden Door pay-per-view. Are you excited to see CM Punk back in AEW this summer? Hey, that's, a, that's an interesting one right there, man. Honestly, if you want to be honest, man, they need to see him punk bro they they definitely needed his presence um it only makes sense to have him involved especially if they're trying to trying to you know really you know push the product this summer i believe they're trying to sell out a uh an event uh overseas uh, a huge stadium so you know definitely having that extra star power can definitely help and a lot of time has passed I honestly, me personally, I think they worked this into a story angle. If you're going to bring him back and everybody squashes their beef because let's not sit up here and act like wrestlers haven't gone at each other <laughs> and since wrestling been a thing. It's always happened. We just, as fans, never knew about it because there wasn't really social media. People didn't say much. They kept things within the locker room. The only people that probably would know is their family members, but they kept their beefs in fights in the locker room it got squashed it got settled or either somebody left or whatever the situation was but we didn't have social media so people didn't know that a lot of this was happening a lot of times behind the scenes it's just this time it blew up so honestly i do think they need cm punk some of y'all may disagree but they do there's 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 no denying it you you may some may say oh he's not a big draw for them but i would disagree i think he would definitely bring a little bit more excitement into the product. There's nothing. I don't see the negatives in adding him back into to the scene, into the rotation of things and getting these storylines going up because that's really what it was when Punk came in the first time. You wanted to see these dream matchups. Now you could potentially see some more of these type of matchups. In my opinion, I do think that him working with the Young Bucks and Kenny Omega a squash whatever issues they have and turn it into a storyline blur the lines of real and fake well you know reality and 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 what's a work blur those lines because people are going to be interested the same people that were 
you know, saying screw CM Punk are going to be the same people that's going to be interested in this story. I'm just being honest with you. It's going to be must-see television. It is. If you can make this story and blur the lines with this story, because we know there was real beef. We can't, you can't fake that. So they ain't got to be best friends, but go into business and make some money together. That's what it's all about. At the end of the day, if you legitimately had some issue with each other, make some money out of it. We we all know about the Edge and Matt Hardy and Lita Love Triangle. That was a real thing. And Vince was like, you know what? I'm going to turn this into a money money angle. I'm going to turn this into a storyline. Granted, is you can say, oh, that's kind of messed up, but at the same time, it that feud felt so real and so personal because it was real. They were just able to turn it up even more for the cameras. So that's all I'm saying. If you have the opportunity to make things right, you have the opportunity, they ain't got to be best friends, but if they can work together and coexist, they can make a great, great, great storyline here. They could. They could. It could be some money made here. They could potentially sell a lot more tickets overseas for that show they're trying to have. They could if you really build it up right. So, and of course, it's going to be in, you know, that show, that episode is going to be in Chicago. It only makes sense for them to promote that and have him come out in Chicago. Chicago, they're going to love him regardless. It's going to be crazy. People are going to tune in to see that. So, I am all for it. I know some people are like, oh, CM Punk needs to stay away. No. There's, they have them on contract for a reason. AEW can use all the star power they can they can muster up, and I think AEW needs him. They do, they do. You, you don't pay CM Punk that much money for no reason for him to sit at home. I think AEW can benefit from him being on television, and they really capitalize on this storyline. Once again, blurring the lines of what's real and what's fake. That's what fans want to see. We know the real beef they had. Now, how are they going to spin it into a storyline? How are they going to how they going to make us care about what's going on? How are they going to make us care about them fighting in the ring? I'm down for it. I am all down for it if they're able to come to some type of agreement, you know. So that's my personal opinion. I have been keeping up with AEW. I just haven't streamed it, but I have been like keeping up with the show per se you know what i'm saying I, I usually just watch it um after it goes off live and i'll just you know check out you know different parts of the show when i go through it so i have been keeping up with it so honestly i think i think they can be definitely benefit so comment down below let me know are you guys excited for cm punk's potential return back to AEW? or do you guys think nah he should just stay away and wait till his contract in let me know y'all thoughts and opinions on it if this does if this rumor is true let me know how y'all feel about it but i appreciate all the love and support you guys showing our channel road to 150k and i am still the undisputed youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all kicking me see y'all next one peace